This is a large inner city practice in the middle of Kilburn. Um, we have 17,000 patients. Uh, we have a huge ethnic spread. I think domestic violence has always, I think, been uncomfortable for general practice. I think one thing is we've not been very good at recognising domestic violence and picking up on exactly when a patient is complaining of domestic violence, uh, other than when a patient comes in and says, Doctor, um, I've got this injury, and then doesn't really want to talk about it, or they come in and tell us that they've been battered, uh, or they've had an injury, and ask us what they should do. Um, and our response, I don't think in the past, has actually been very helpful. Um, we've been, I think, uh, rather reticent to suggest anything constructive other than, well, you have to see a solicitor and go to the police. Um, our options haven't been uh, greater than that. Now, at least, we've had some education. We know um, how to recognise domestic violence in a, or abuse uh, in a much better way. Um, and now we've got some tools to actually deal with it and manage it properly, um, in that we... we have been made aware of referral pathways. Um, we know of um, the IRIS project, we know the Solace Women's Aid groups. I became aware of the IRIS project about nine months ago. Um, our CCG is actually quite um, good at trying to develop the services within Camden. Um, we're very, the Camden CCG is actually very lucky in that it does have the budget um, to allow new projects. Uh, there is a, a, Camden being an inner city London uh, borough has very high levels of domestic abuse and the question is how do we deal with it? Camden CCG wanted to deal with it and uh, as a practice we've always been trying to, pro to provide the best services that we can to our patients. We, we try to be as innovative as we can. We were offered uh, to have some training sessions with Iris and the practice has regular um, education meetings and as part of that we had an introductory talk, felt that was going to suit this practice extremely well in the nature of our population and it was arranged that we would have the further training sessions. So I attended um, the training sessions with my colleagues, both clinical and non-clinical. Uh, and we've taken it from there and I've been using and referring to um, Solace Women's Aid and using all the other services ever since. And I think it's brilliant. I probably refer maybe one patient a month to Solace Women's Aid. I probably see at least uh, two patients a week who would um, be complaining of domestic, you know, domestic abuse, domestic violence. Um, which is very important. I'm sure I see a lot more patients who they have probably underlying have a problem of some sort of domestic issue but haven't yet presented it to me. Uh, the problem that I've got is recognising it, the problem for the patient is actually offloading that to me. But hopefully the IRIS project which is all about identification and referral means that I can maybe identify these patients who aren't presenting with their domestic abuse but presenting with other symptoms uh, and they can't quite get the actual problem out because either they don't think um, I would respond appropriately or they're ashamed or they feel what are you know there aren't any resources or they will be punished by the perpetrators of the abuse. The project is funded by our CCG. Um, as I have mentioned, uh, Camden CCG is, is a forward-thinking CCG. It's very innovative. Um, it, I think that uh, Camden um, is lucky in that it does have the funds and providing a service like this I think is extremely beneficial uh, because it's, it's providing a service that hasn't been there before and is needed. Uh, one of the things that I've learned is that patients who are suffering from domestic abuse or domestic issues often they don't present with the symptoms of domestic abuse. We're looking at patients who might present with tired all the time, chronic aches and pains. Um, these are the recurrent attenders, patients with free-floating anxiety and they come in again and again and we actually I suppose as doctors and myself included we feel oh no not that patient again and we can get frustrated 
if we can recognise what's going on and actually try and get to the bottom of what the patient is complaining of, we can help them. And we actually then use our own time, we use our appointments more effectively, and we can sort some problems out. I think it's, it's a very, very good use of resources. As a final comment, I would like to encourage all CCGs to thoroughly endorse uh, IRIS, to commission it. My own personal view is that I've made use of the service. I know how to recognise um, domestic issues, domestic abuse, uh, much more efficiently. I can uh, raise the issues with my patients with much more confidence. And I know how to manage patients as, as GPs. We must know a referral pathway, we must have a, a management pathway. There's no good in making a diagnosis or raising an issue if you can't do anything with it. That's probably the worst thing you can ever do because you've opened a can of worms and you've, you're left as it is. Now we've got the tools to actually do something and we, we want to do something to a population that actually needs something doing to them. But we have to remember that you're not just helping the patient in front of you, you're helping their family. There are also child protection issues as well that are often um, come up and I think that the benefits from engaging with the uh, IRIS projects are huge and if any CCG does invest the money I, th I think it's going to be money very very well invested for now and the future. Uh, I would strongly recommend it.